Hello, everybody. It's Alejandro, and today I'm gonna to be talking about beta care requirements. Requirements, sorry. Um, so the beta care requirements for tank size is five or more gallons, and there's multiple types of betas like um, betting and ballast, Siamese fun, you can fish, and the crossbreed alien beta. I think there's one more I'm forgetting, but I don't remember what it's called. Um, so. Those are the main betas you're going to see. Uh, mainly, you're going to see more of beta splendens than you would other types of betas. So, um, tank size 5 to 10 gallon, 5 or more gallons. Bigger is always better. Um, and decorations for uh, no sharp plants, soft plants like silk plants or... Our live plants is best for betas, um, and as well as some other thing as, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Ah, okay. So, for the temperature of the tank, it should be 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit to keep your fish happy and to thrive. Um, I do not recommend having two males together, Especially two males with one female, because then one of the males, the more dominant one, will attack your least dominant in case they're in a cup, like right here. Uh, Titan, I believe, nipped at Mecha Godzilla, and I see a little bit of a tear, but it will heal pretty quickly. It's just a little cut. I think he swam. Right here, this edge right here, cut his fin in. That's history. Oh, so back to what I'm saying. Uh, yes, beta fish can have ta uh, tank mates. Uh, why I like to keep with uh, betas, or and I'm going to want to keep with betas, or I want to get with keep with betas, is guppies. Any library actually. Um, tetras not don't get any fin nipping ones. Uh. And avoid any aggressive fish that could intentionally hurt your beta fish. Like, let's just say... A lot of fish like, um... Angelfish. They could really hurt a beta fish of how small the betas are. And they're not as fast and agile as, let's just say, a tetra. So... Beta fish require that, and as well as beta fish can be kept together in s situations that uh, you're that you're if you're n if you know what you're doing. I know what I'm doing. I've done this many times, but this is one of the first times I've ever done it with just one female with two males. I'm going to get her a a friend soon. So then the males won't harass just her. They'll harass one, another female. So then it's more even. And they're also harassing the fish, other fish. So these are dither fish, basically. I don't recommend fish that can eat them. Like, let's just say tight Oscars, full-grown Oscars, arowanas, uh, other big cichlids. Cichlids in general, I don't really like to have with these types of fish because... Uh, of their the tendencies to be aggressive, but uh, any uh, ni nice community fish can go with beta fish. Uh, so the difference between kings and uh, giants is the giants get are smaller than your king beta, or no, take it back, uh, your king beta is smaller than your giant beta, so they get a little bit bigger, bigger. The kings get, are around, about the same as uh, normal beta, betas. Just they have the king with the, the name. So the upside of placats betas is their fins heal like 10 times faster, I swear. Um, their fins don't tend to be as get cut as often. And they don't tend... Oh, wait, never mind. I think he cut his fin... Oh, ripped his fin by flaring. Yeah, he ripped his fin by flaring. 
he's evil to himself. Um, so, back to what I'm saying, um, so the podcast I recommend for a lot of new beginners when it comes to a lot of betas, because one, I do like some long fin fish, but not all of them. I recommend more of the cats. Uh, the last, like this guy, how you just saw his fin cut. That's why. That's what happens a lot of times with them. Is they rip their fins so easily. They're super delicate. The cats, they take care of their fins and they make sure they don't rip them as easily. But if they do end up getting a cut. They end up healing pretty quickly, in you know, like a couple of hours or even a day or two. So, um, and they tend beta fish. In general, um, have this protective instinct to protect. And what I call, well, people, you guys don't, please don't get me tell me, oh, you're wrong. They don't have anything similar to what the fish I'm going to say right now. Um, but they kind of do. They kind of do. Let's hear, let's hear me out. I, I'm starting to want to call beta fish miniature arowanas. One thing that selects them out is bait fish are tiny compared to arowanas. Uh, and arowanas have shorter fins. They have uh, big old caudal. Uh, I think this is a caudal fin. I'm not sure. But no, the dorsal fin is a lot longer as well as the caudal fin. So they have a lot of the same care requirements. Except tank size, that's for sure. Water parameters, tank mates, that's for sure. That's a different thing. But the beta fish like to jump out of the water to catch insects. And arowanas in the wild also do that. That's why I like to call them miniature arowanas. Thanks for watching, everybody. Oh, and very quick, before I end the video, get live plants instead of fake plants. That's, that's 10 times better than silk plants. Uh, or any fake plant in general, and do not get sharp objects for in the your beta tank. Um, so thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for our next video, and um, thanks for watching. And the mini beta, and I will go. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a good day, everybody.